For cheap Minecraft hosting, be sure to go ahead and check out Clovex.net. What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add a watermark in Tony Rays Pro 11, 12 or 13. So yes, we're back for some more Sony Vegas tutorials, I know I haven't done one in a while, Windows 10 got in the way, but we're back. So, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, Ruby, and Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now, adding a watermark is very simple. You see at the bottom left of my screen right now, I have my Twitter there, and it's in every video. And then on my Minecraft videos at the top right, I also have my server IP. So, it's very simple to do, and let's get into this. So you can see right here I've got a Minecraft video, first of all I'm going to right click it, click properties, disable for example and uncheck maintain aspect ratio, this just disables the ghosting and also make sure there's no black bars around. Now the next thing you need to right click here and click insert new video track. So now you want to come to the media generators which is right here, if you don't have this right here then come to view, windows layout and then press default layout. Now the next thing, pick a text that you would like. Now the things at the bottom here from top 5 games to CS factions, you will not have them, I've made them myself. So everything above here, select what you want. Now make sure you pick one with the checkered background, that means there's going to be no background to it. Now the one I always use is this right here, soft shadow, just go ahead and drag it like that. And now we type what we want. Now I'm just going to put casual savage just because it's my video. And you can change the size of it, so highlight all, control A. And we'll make it around size 20. You see that's a good size right there. Now we can choose whether you want it bold, italic, and then you can choose your properties, what effects you want on it and stuff, so you can have a draw outline and stuff. But it's completely up to you, I never have an outline, I just keep it the way it is with the shadow. And then just press the X. And now you want to drag it all the way out over your video. So this means it's going to be throughout your entire video. But we also need to position it. Now you can position it with the event pan and crop, or you can do it with the track motion. Personally, I prefer the track motion, it's completely up to you. So... With the track motion, got to get that back, there it is. Just go ahead and drag it into the position you want. So I'm going to put it up there, like that. And now with this, come to the preset where it says here, and you can call it whatever you want. So I'm going to call this watermark for a test. And then press the save button. And now, the next thing, we need to make it look like a watermark. Because at the moment it's a solid, and you can't literally see any, well, you can't see through it. So make it a bit more transparent by dragging this down right here. Now I always have mine on 50, the same one that you're seeing at the bottom left of the screen right now, that's on 50 opacity, it's always been on 50 opacity, so you can change it by dragging it down, I think only 13 and 12 have this feature, so people aren't only Vegas Pro 11, just go ahead and drag it down to 50, it's going to make no difference right there, and then you're basically set, you're done. Now one thing you can do if you come back to the text, you can also save this as a preset, so you can call this watermark as well. Now this is going to save you so much more time, so you can see if I press save, and now if I drag this down, it's right there, it's going to be called watermark. So now you have this, if we delete this video track, and now we start fresh, so let's say you make a new video, we press insert a new video track, we go ahead and drag the watermark one on, you can see it's all set to our standards how we wanted it before, we drag it across the whole video, we make sure at the start of the video, go to the track motion, click this arrow, go to watermark, boom, Lower the opacity to 50. Bang, you're done. Your watermark is in, and it is that simple. And like I said, that is throughout the entire video. It's not going to move. It's going to stay there the entire time, unless, of course, you do animate it. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hopefully, it's helped you, and you can now put watermarks in your videos. Like I said, start the video. If you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, Asterix, Rumin, Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go to follow me on Twitter. I'll keep you updated what I'm posting and what I'm posting. Also, be sure to go and check out my gaming channel. I post three to four times a week. And finally, be sure to go and add me on Snapchat, which you will do throughout my day. So, yes, been Casual Savage here. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.